Winter in Minnesota can be downright brutal, but that doesn't stop this cold weather marathon. Ryan Anderson and his dogs were the first of 10 teams to cross the finish line at this year's Bear Grease Dog Sled Marathon. The grueling 300-mile trek is the longest sled dog race in the lower 48. In tonight's Weekend Journal, John Lordson of our CBS station WCCO shows us just what it takes to compete. I love the energy of the dogs getting ready to go. And then they just like turn quiet and, you know, dial in once they're ready to start. They are four legged athletes, Alaskan and Siberian Huskies, bred for whatever awaits them along the Bear Grease. And every single one of their human companions took different paths in life before they ended up on this one. My parents have always been doing it since I grew up, um, and I just kind of grew up around the sport, so here I am doing it now. At 19 years old, Errol Wallen is one of the youngest dog sledders in the marathon. He's even competing against his mom's team. It's uh, pretty exciting. Everything's kind of coming together. You know, this is what we all uh, wait for, train for, and get excited for the whole year, and now it's here, so it's ready to roll. Dry land training takes place year-round even in Alaska. They pull me on a four-wheeler on an ATV. Ryan Reddington and his team made the 72-hour drive from the land of the midnight sun to Minnesota. He's a former Bear Grease champion. It's a really tough race with the hills, and um, the competition is very good. The people of Minnesota are awesome, and um, yeah, it's going to be a good race. When the sun sets and the temperature drops, teams still push through the night. They navigate through the cold and dark of the wilderness, keeping an eye out for moose and other animals, and only stopping at mandatory checkpoints where vets can take a look at the dogs and the huskies get a quick bite to eat. We want to get them fed and get them resting as quick as we can so that they can, they can get off of their feet and get some sleep and get ready to do it all over again. The final destination for this race is Grand Portage near the Canadian border. And it's not just the mushers who go along for the ride, it's the fans too. Even when it's 15 below, they still come out in full force. It was just really cool to see that everyone's so excited and supportive. John Lordson, CBS News, Grand Marais, Minnesota.